Welcome back. Uh, what we're going to take a look at doing today is we want to go ahead and build the quiz. And it looks similar to this. I actually have a PDF here of it. You can see here is the model that's three by six wide and then it's one inch thick. Uh, this boss is three quarters of an inch in height. We have a chamfer. We have some fillets. We want to put the fillets on first, then the chamfer. And there's another fillet there and there's a hole and a couple holes that are half inch and spaced 0.75 off of each edge and they're symmetric. So let's begin. Start with the new AutoCAD 3D. Let's go ahead and click on the home button here and top and we'll zoom out a little bit. We'll turn on the snap mode for a moment and go to home, find the rectangle tool and right here at the origin, click and drag out. It's going to be six, so you can go ahead and type in six there, hit the tab key, and three, and hit enter. Now go to the circle tool, and we should be able to locate the center right here. See it's three by 1.5. Click and drag that out, and I believe it's one, uh, actually let's look at the print here. 1.25 for the hole. All right, we hit enter again, and we're going to put the next one in, which is 2.25. So again, at that center, 2.25. And I just realized that that went to radius. So I'm going to hit Escape and Control Z. And let's go back to center diameter. Try that one more time. Click 2.25. There we go. Now, just to make sure we're back on center diameter, now there's one that goes, belongs up here, but we're going to turn off the snaps for a minute, and we're going to put it roughly there. It's about 0.5, so click, drag it out, make a 0.5. Now, to locate that 3 quarters of an inch, we could have actually positioned it in different ways, but this is a good opportunity. I'm going to just uh, center this to actually use the parametric tool. So I'm going to go to parametric, and I'm going to first lock down this bottom corner. All right, now we could go to Auto Constrain, click and drag a fence around everything, and hit Enter. Okay, we can see it added a number of constraints, and that should lock it down for us. We could add a few more locks if we want. Maybe we'll add one here, or else we could use dimensions. I'm going to go ahead and go with um, vertical, and from this point this point that's three hit enter and then we could go with horizontal we could have just selected linear as well so this point to this point and that's six click enter and now because that's all constrained we could add constraints to this so let's go to first of all let's constrain the diameter and that's 0.5, enter. And then we could go horizontal and select, it goes to the center point to this point. And now we could type in 0.75 and see how it repositioned it. Now let's go to vertical and select the geometry, select that corner again, and there it is, and 0.75. Right, so that basically constrained it. Now we just want to mirror it across. So to mirror this across, we just go to the home, go to mirror, select the geometry we want to mirror, hit enter, and let's mirror it across from this point to, um, we could just go straight down, I suppose. Do we want to erase the source? No, hit enter. All right, let's try that again. Hit and uh, mirror. We could hit enter, I suppose. Click over here and drag a fence to surround those two, or just select them each, hit enter, and then right here to there, and no. All right, so we have a parametric sketch, essentially, or mostly parametric. We didn't add it to everything, nor do we, hit, do we need to. All right, we could put the fillets in now if you like, but I'm gonna add those later. So we're gonna go to the 3D tools, and we'll go to, we could do press pull or we could do extrude. So I'm going to go to extrude, go to the home button, and I'm going to go ahead and select this geometry. Now watch this, I'm going to go ahead and select the holes too. Now what I wish it would do at this point is with the holes, now I'm not going to select this one, we don't want that one. 
um, it won't add them automatically, but it kind of does. It, it, it makes them easier. Hit enter. We want this to be one inch in height. Hit enter. But now look at that. We have geometry there. If we actually go to visualize and in the visualize tools here, instead of realistic, let's go with shades of gray. We could actually see the entities there. Now go to 3D tools, go to uh, subtract, select this base as your subtract, and hit enter. Now select these top surfaces that turn blue, or select the edge of the geometries if they don't turn blue over the edge, and hit enter, and it should open those up. Now let's rotate and see we have that boss there. Let's go to press pull and get over to where you see both concentric circles highlight click. Drag it up. You could rotate. I'm holding the shift key and my middle wheel. Drag it up. It's going to be actually 1.75. So it's one inch from the base plus the 0.75 for the height. Hit enter. And in this case, it cut it. And I find that very interesting because that's not what I wanted. The last time I did this, it actually worked. I'm going to hit Escape, Control-Z. In that case, I'm going to go to Extrude and select that. Hit Enter. OK, so basically, it, with that press pull that ruined that geometry, but that's okay. I'm going to control Z back, hit escape. Alright, now I want to take that piece of geometry and all right, so we want to go ahead and we want to get that extruded. Now here's the thing. Let's go ahead and copy this edge first. So make sure you go to 3D Tools. Under Solid Editing, we're going to go ahead and find this tool right here, which is Copy Edge. Select it. Let's recopy this edge right here and hit Enter. All right, and now we should have, I believe, an edge there. But let's go to Extrude. Now we're going to have to hover over until we see just that line highlight, click, hit enter, and then let's go ahead and make it 1.75. And now, actually, uh, let's go ahead and use the press pull for this inside area and drag that through, click, and it should cut it automatically for us. But now we have to unite those. So go to Union select this body and this body and hit enter and now we could go to the fillet edge tool and set it to radius 0.25 and we want this edge oops there we go you have to see the preview before you move on this edge this edge this one here and then rotate around to get to this edge hit enter and enter again now go to the chamfer tool. Now for chamfer, we go ahead, select distance, set it to 0.125, enter, 0.125, enter, and loop, and select this edge here. Hit next until you see it loop around. Hit accept, and enter, and enter. And that it, that's it. Go ahead and then from here just go to print, or I should say export PDF and set it to extent and go ahead and save it and, and drop that in and that's it.